Good morning folks and uh, welcome to another Cafe Series, uh, episode 8. Um, uh, today's episode is in the Lake District. Uh, currently we're just at uh, Lindale. And, uh, we're going to do a uh, right of a, uh, a little uh, back road just up here. So when you get to the, uh, the little roundabout at Lindale, um, don't turn left or go straight across um, past the uh, Audi garage. Uh, we're going to turn right, and that's just before where the scaffolding, uh, where the Lindale Inn used to be. So we're going on back of the Fell Road, it's called. And we're going to head up here and uh, take this road all the way over to, uh, to Lake Windermere. this road in uh, many many years but it does take you up to a uh, lovely pub and uh, we'll show you that uh, also as we pass by so truly off the grid here not many people use this road um, it's not exceptionally wide but it's wide enough to uh, to get two vehicles uh, down I'm just watching out for uh, cars pulling out on me since the white van man episode so I just want to thank a few of you for your comments just wishing me well and glad I'm not uh, on the deck and uh, hurt um, it wasn't an extreme near miss uh, the MT10's brakes and the traction control kicked in lovely and stopped me uh, in good time and uh, yeah he did pull out in front of me and uh, a couple of you mentioned he was looking down like he was on his phone. Um, I've watched the video back and it does look like he's looking at his lap and not looking at the road. Uh, there is a passenger in the car too. Um, but anyway, it's one of them incidents and uh, all it's done is made me uh, more conscious of uh, everybody out there trying to kill you. So it's quite, quite a twisty road this, um, before we get onto the main road. There's a couple of different ways you can get into uh, the road that I'm trying to take you on. Um, the road I'm trying to take you on is one that drops over the top of the mountain and then comes down and looks down on the uh, lakeside in Windermere. And uh, spectacular views, so we'll show you that. And then what I need to do, um, today is kind of a little mission, I need to get up to a, uh, a water sports uh, shop or, or kayak shop as uh, I need to get my daughter a little, uh, little life vest for when she, uh, when she goes on her holidays. I should be spending a lot of time in the sea so uh, yeah, locally I can't find one of them and uh, I don't want to order one online without uh, without looking at it first. So uh, we're going to head up to uh, to where the, the ferry crosses um, Lake Windermere. I think it's called the, the NAB and uh, that's where we're going to have a look at this shop and also I'm uh, going to try and cross the ferry at that point. The trials bikes there on the back of that trailer. Nice. Always wanted a trials bike when I was a little lad. My dad would never let me get one. And uh, it's kind of funny. He uh, he bought my sister. Okay, so the signpost here. Uh, Withered slack cartel fell. We're gonna go straight over. And uh, yeah, he he bought my sister a horse. <laughs> after I was pestering him for a trials bike and he said no those things are dangerous, motorbikes are dangerous and uh, he bought my sister a horse and like horses aren't dangerous you know at least on a bike you're in control with a horse the horse is always getting control it's got a brain 
and uh, lo and behold, yeah, the only accidents between me and my sister were her falling off horses, bless her, and uh, hurting herself. And uh, yeah, I didn't get my uh, I didn't get my motorbike, my trials bike, and it took until I think it was about uh, 17, 16, 17. I pestered him that much that I got a uh, a little Yamaha 50cc just before I left school, and of course, yeah, I fell off it. Bit of an idiot. And, uh, of course those things then weren't uh, exactly the best bikes on the road, but um, yeah it was kind of funny and then uh, I wanted something bigger and I think I waited till I was about 19, 20 and uh, even then I, uh, I remember getting a uh, Honda NSR 125 and I bought it brand new and basically took it to my sister's house to uh, to store it and I didn't tell my dad for about a month and uh, eventually he found out of course he couldn't say anything then but uh, that's where it all started really from the 50cc and uh, I knew I liked bikes from a young age and then uh, after that all happened and uh, things I, uh, I took an awful long break between riding motorcycles from the uh, the 125 and uh, yeah I only sort of got back into biking about probably 12 13 years ago so we're truly on the back roads here um, but it's nice to explore so uh, Let's see where this brings you out. I can't for the life of me remember where. I know which road I'm trying to get on. And perhaps I should have took an easier route to try and get to that road. But uh, we'll see. Okay, so we've come to a road end and it says Boland Bridge left. So that's the way I'm going to go. Yep, Boland Bridge and Bowness is the way I'm going to take you. Now, I'm not sure if this is the intended road I was meant to be on, but isn't life about exploring which route to take? So, uh, that's what we're kind of doing. Okay, so I know where we are now. So, we're at Bolin Bridge, and we turn left. Now this is the road that I wanted to find, and this is the road that will drop you over the mountain and uh, down towards the lakeside, but on the opposite side of the lake to where the boats are. And uh, just up here is a pub that I used to come to when I was very young, and uh, it also has a microbrewery. Um, sell uh, bottled beers from uh, all over the world, something like 100 different bottles from uh, various different places around the world. The Mason's Arms, just there, cracking little pub, great food, and uh, if you're up this way in the middle of nowhere, it's, uh, it's worth a stop. road takes you over, right over the top, and then it'll drop you down to the lake as I say, but uh, it's very, very nice, uh, nice views once you get over the top. Back onto a decent width of road again as well, and uh, it just winds through the, uh, the forest on the top here, before we drop down the other side mountain. There's also a nice walk as well right onto the top of the, uh, the fell uh, as you go over before you start to drop down. Okay so we're just dropping down the other side now and uh, in the basin in the bottom of this uh, valley there's a uh, there is Lake Windermere just down there. And 
this will drop me down just at the bottom of the lake. Um, my plan is is to turn right at the bottom of this road and go off one side of the lake halfway up. Like I say, we're going to head left um, and try and cross the uh, the ferry that goes across the lake. And uh, I want to have a look for this uh, life jacket for my daughter. And then when we come down the other side of the lake, that will bring us out by the uh, Swan at Navy Bridge. And uh, we can stop there for some uh, lunch on the, uh, the way back. So the, uh, the lunch stop, a uh, bit more than a cafe, Swan at Navy Bridge, really nice uh, hotel, bar and restaurant. They do uh, normal pub food and bar snacks, but uh, stunning, uh, stunning views right next to the uh, the bo very bottom of the lake, where it turns into a river, and there's some nice seating outside. So we're going to head there. So we're going to turn right just here, and of course uh, this is where Falkut Park is, uh, which is another good place for families and stuff next to the lake in the summer. side of the lake and uh, very beautiful it is too. Lots of nice uh, big houses at the side of the lake. If you've ever done a boat trip up the, uh, the middle of Lake Windermere from Lakeside you'll see all the houses with the, uh, the boat garages where they put their, uh, their motor yachts and things into the uh, the water garages down by the water, beautiful. Um, uh, still some being built, just there you see. Huge mansion over there looking the lake. Can't talk, what's wrong with me? And very expensive, and uh, yeah, the majority of these are uh, holiday homes as well, they're not, uh, not lived in all year round. So we're just coming up to the uh, turning for the Lyon Valley Road, the A5074, so you can go right up there and that'll take you on a uh, fantastic road and all the way back to the A590, the uh, PV Dobson Volvo dealership and Levens. Uh, that's my secret route into the lakes and uh, you'll catch that in a previous uh, video. That's my no traffic route. In. Lake's very flat today. Looks lovely. Hope the ferry is running and we can uh, get across on it. I can show you that. Some pretty impressive properties along here. B5285, Hawkshead, Coniston. Welcome to Windermere Ferry. Okay, so life jacket buoyancy aid bought, and uh, we're just going to head across the, uh, the ferry now. Yeah, and it's just about to arrive, so perfect timing. Yeah, so it's two pound for a motorcycle, five pound for a car. So the other way is to go up towards uh, Ambleside and then round the top of the lake come down the other side uh, but today I thought we'll just uh, show you the car ferry Hi uh -huh. uh, It's a drift, drift innovation Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah, yeah about uh, two and a half hours to a battery. All right, no problem, thanks. Take it easy, thanks. So that was the ferry crossing.
nobody came up to me and asked me to pay, so I, uh, I dropped the woman there. A little bit of money on the way out. Yeah, so the ferry is a really easy way to get across the lake. And a uh, nice guy on there just now telling me about his GS uh, BMW, with how he's got back into biking and things, which is all good. And uh, just follow the road round right next to the lake. Absolutely beautiful. And then we'll just follow this road until it meets the... Uh, the main route that comes and uh, basically from there we're going to follow the lake down until we get to lakeside i'll show you that that's where the boats go up and down the lake from uh, lovely place too also the uh, the steam railway from haverthwaite uh, comes up to the the boats at lakeside so you could take in a steam train and also a uh, nice boat trip up the lake And then from there we're going to head down to uh, the Swan at Newby Bridge. You've also got the uh, the Cuckoo Brow Inn just here. Looks uh, really nice. Lots of places. Just coming past the Tower Bank Arms just there. Nice little guest house there. So this road will take us past uh, this lake you see here, which is Esweight. And uh, there's a nice little fishing place that I used to come and do a bit of fly fishing when I was younger. And the fishing place is just here. And you've got Esweight water. The Osprey experience. Uh, So yeah, I used to fish directly off that car park, just there. And then uh, this road now is a uh, absolute cork of a road that leads us down towards uh, Lakeside. Uh, you can also get to the uh, the ferry down that little road there. And uh, I remember seeing a sign saying Lakeside as we came out of the ferry, and I didn't take it, and that's where it would have brought us out. Just passing the YMCA. <coughs> so we're just dropping down into uh, Lakeside. And uh, I'm going to turn into the, uh, the place where you get the boats from. And uh, you can see that just then before we head on to get some lunch. So oh, just where the uh, the brown sign is here, and the hotel and spa, we'll just uh, swing a left, and that's the uh, steamers and trains. So you've got the railway station, you've got the lakes aquarium, you've got the lakeside hotel just here. Terrace, good for afternoon tea on the terrace. And then you've got this lovely lovely place. And then literally a couple of miles down this road, you'll come to the, uh, the Swan Hotel at Newbury Bridge, and that's where my lunch is waiting. Starving. And here we are, the Swan at Newbury Bridge. You can see the seating outside. Grab a bite to eat on one of them, I think. Yeah.
Okay, so that's the Swan at Newby Bridge. Hotel and spa. Nice seating area outside. Good food. Good pub. So we just rejoined the uh, A590 now. We're just going to head left and that'll take us all the way back up to uh, Junction 36 of the uh, M6. You've also got the Newby Bridge Hotel that does bar food and things opposite. But I think the uh, Swan just uh, pips it on uh, on view and uh, just at this roundabout here this road will take you up the uh, the bonus road so that's the road that we actually joined um, just opposite uh, Fellfoot Park before we went up the lake before we crossed it and then uh, if you do need petrol uh, just about a mile up this road there's a petrol station on the right hand side and that's Newby Bridge Services just up here on the right. So here's the petrol station just here. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the cafe series, episode eight. And uh, there'll be another one coming uh, next week. And if you've not already subscribed, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell button for regular new uploads coming uh, weekly. So I'll catch you on another video and uh, have a great week at work and uh, whatever you're doing guys and girls and uh, I'll see you soon. If you like the videos please subscribe and hit the bell button for regular reminders of new videos coming up.